Let's take a look at this test, uh, this question. So 750 milligrams of vancomycin was given to a patient. The concentration of the blood work performed uh, after indicated that the vancomycin concentration was 20 microgram per milliliter. What is the volume of distribution of vancomycin? Okay, so multiple things that we need to address. First of all, we have only two values. Uh, the first value is the dose, which was 750. And we have a concentration that's 20 mcg or micrograms per milliliter. What are they asking for? They're asking for volume of distribution. Okay, so first of all, um, develop the habit of always have a uniform, uh, uniform units. So the dose was in milligrams. Yeah, the concentration was in the micrograms. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I will switch uh, because it's proportions. I can either turn the dose to micrograms and get the volume of distribution in milliliters. Because if you guys remember volume of distribution, it can have several units such as, um, write them here, units of, most commonly it's in liters, but sometimes it might be in milliliters, okay? So if you are selecting one of the following options, like if the tests were asked you to select one out of four or five options, see what is the units. So if all the units and the options that was given to you was in liters, you wanna make sure that the concentration here, the unit, it gets switched to liter. Okay, so you wanna convert it to liter so all of your cash calculations is correct. Now, if the options that was given to you in the test was in milliliters, then you will keep this, but at the same time, you wanna change the dose uh, the unit of the dose to uh, micrograms. Why? Because it has to match with the concentration. So for me, I'm, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to convert the units of the 20 micrograms to milliliter. I'm going to convert it to milligram per liter. If you want to memorize it, um, one of the easiest way is usually microgram per milliliter equals same thing as milligram per liter. It's the same exact thing. Why? Because you basically, uh, it's 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 always it's always about proportion, right? So you're gonna divide this by a thousand, you divide this by a thousand. And um, so the 20 microgram per milliliter equals 20 milligram per liter. So it's the same thing. Now, what is the volume of distribution? We know from the equations that was provided to you that volume of dis distribution um, equals the dose divided by the concentration in plasma, right? So my dose is 750 milligrams. And my uh, concentration in plasma is 20 milligrams per liter. So the answer is going to be 37.5 liters. So it's as easy as that. Um, you're going to get a lot of questions about volume of distribution, or this is one of the most common types of the questions that you're going to get the test. Um, you absolutely have to be able to answer these sort of questions. Why? Because they're easy. Just make sure that you have a uniform units between the two um, the two pieces of information you have. Once you get them uniform, you're informed. Uh, it's a sim simple fill-in equations that you should come up with an answer.